Greetings citizens, we are anonymous, in addition to the very real threat of air and water contamination caused by fracking, we would like to inform you about an additional development that makes voting yes for the Youngstown Community Bill of Rights critical in the upcoming election. On May 6th, it has come to our attention that the Ohio Department of Natural Resources has granted an order for a temporary authorization to operate a radioactive fracking waste processing facility at 240 Center Court in Youngstown to Industrial Waste Control Ground Tech. The radioactive characterization and handling will be performed by Austin Master Services LLC from Pottstown, Pennsylvania. The permit granted is far above the legal limit of radioactivity to sort and process radium 226 and 228 from fracking drill cuttings waste and wastewater before it is downblended. The Ohio Department of Health licensed this company for plutonium and depleted uranium, which is used in perforation guns that blast the shale and has a half-life of 4.5 billion years. Depleted uranium can also cause permanent contamination. When this facility becomes operational, trucks and trains carrying radioactive frac waste will be regularly coming to Youngstown. If there is an accident at the facility, Youngstown's first responders do not have radioactive accident training, equipment right to know information, or a workable evacuation plan. Youngstown residents were never informed of the intended facility, what happened and why we have this emergency today. The application for the Youngstown facility was received by ODNR on February 7, 2013. A public records requests for all applications under 1509.22 was made on February 11, 2014. The application for the Youngstown facility was not included in the ODNR response to the February 11th request. On March 3rd, ODNR responded that they would send a CD with the information requested. On March 6th, ODNR issued the order. On March 10th, ODNR was informed that the CD had not been received. On March 11th, ODNR sent an email stating that the CD had been sent the day before. On March 28th, a second request was made to ODNR requesting all applications. On April 7th, ODNR acknowledged receiving the second request. On April 10th, the CD was received which included material on the Youngstown facility. If ODNR had included the application for the Youngstown facility under the first request, citizens would have had the opportunity to file an appeal within the 30-day time limit. ODNR has no health physicists, no radiation specialists, and no expertise for making such a determination. Concerned citizens have made repeated public records requests for clarification from the Ohio Department of Health which have not been acknowledged. Exposure to frac waste is known to cause breast, lung, and liver cancer, and childhood leukemia. It is critical to vote yes for the Youngstown Community Bill of Rights in the upcoming election on May 6th in order to keep radioactive frac waste out of the, the city and protect our community from these devastating illnesses. Knowledge is power.